Indiana was having a Cinderella season behind the arm of Michael Penix Jr. Depending on what happened to Ohio State with the remaining games, they had the chance to make a Big Ten championship in the college football playoffs. That was all put into question after Penix went down with an ACL injury last week against Maryland. Indiana will now need to turn to redshirt sophomore Jack Tuttle to keep their dream season alive. But who is Jack Tuttle? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up-and-coming collegiate and pro athletes. If you enjoy these videos, leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If there's a player you want to see in future videos, comment it below. I want to thank Scott Fisher for joining me in this video and actually bring him in to talk about Tuttle in high school. If you're not subscribed to Scott's channel, go subscribe. He makes daily sports content and you won't regret it. Link to his channel is in the description below. What is up guys? If you are new or coming from my channel, please make sure to subscribe to Jonathan's channel and leave a like so his videos can do better and you can continue to bring awesome content. Now let's go back in time and tell the story of Jack Tuttle. In case you didn't know, the Utah Utes could have had current BYU star quarterback Zach Wilson, but Tuttle forced them to stop recruiting Wilson and they made a big mistake in the end. Tuttle grew up in California and took a liking to the quarterback position from a very young age despite what everyone told him to do. When Jack first asked about signing up for football as a third grader, would only give permission if his dad agreed to coach him. He became a star on the Pop Warner circuit, and he was so big, he was pegged to be an offensive lineman. But he always wanted to throw the ball, and he made the right choice by sticking to quarterback. He became a big-time playmaker at Mission Hills High School, and he did more than just win on the field. He started a tradition. Before the Mission Hills football team crosses the threshold of the high school's weight room, the players link arms and sing. They belt out the San Marcos California's fight song as a reminder that they represent more than themselves as members of the Grizzlies football team. It wasn't a tradition that was born when the school opened in 2004 or something the coaches came up with. It was all on Tuttle. In the offseason between his junior and senior year, he researched and composed a fight song and typed it all out, gave it to everybody in his football class, and had them learn it. Before every single time they'd lift, they'd gather in a circle and sing. Tuttle is now gone from the program, but it's part of his legacy, and that's what the school continues to do to this day. Tuttle's coaches and former teammates said there were countless ways, both large and small, that he tries to help, lift up, and bring everybody together. And that doesn't just include football players. In terms of the football field, though, he dominated. He was spectacular in camps and had become a big-time top 10 high school quarterback. But he wasn't the only star on his team. Ohio State star wide receiver Chris Olave was his go-to wideout while he was there, and he's a big name by himself. So, Jack had blown up his senior year, but where was he going to go? Tuttle had been committed to Utah after his junior year had ended, and this was before his big senior campaign, and this was a decision that many thought he would later change as dozens of big name schools tried to recruit him after his final year of high school. During his senior year, he threw for 3,171 yards and 41 touchdowns. He threw just four interceptions and was a unanimous choice for the Player of the Year award in the state. Alabama, LSU, and USC came calling, but his commitment to Utah never wavered, and he was going to be a Ute. According to 24-7 Sports, Tuttle was a four-star recruit, the number eight pro-style quarterback, and the 167th best player in the class of 2018. So now you know Tuttle's story, and let's turn it back over to Jonathan to talk about how he went from Utah to the new starting quarterback for the Cinderella Indiana Hoosiers so far in 2020. Thanks, Scott. We actually did a video on JT Daniels, who's actually from the same recruiting class as Tuttle, over on Scott's channel, so go check that out once you're done with this video. Jack Tuttle was excited to attend Utah, turning down a late recruiting push from the USC Trojans. He graduated high school early and enrolled in Utah in January 2018. Tuttle was one of the most celebrated quarterback recruits in school history, according to the Salt Lake Tribune. Tuttle quickly gained the respect of his teammates, being named to the leadership council after being on campus for two months. In August and September, Tuttle was usually one of the last people to leave the field after practice. He would do individual drills and work with his wide receivers. Tuttle had enrolled early, believing he could win the starting job against Tyler Huntley immediately. Huntley had been named the starting quarterback over senior Troy Williams in 2017. He played okay and Utah's coaching staff never wavered from the decision to have him be the starter for the 2018 season. So Tuttle was named the second string quarterback, right? Well. No, he was named the third-string quarterback behind redshirt freshman Jason Shelley. Right after that happened, people started wondering what would happen to the former four-star recruit. Utah could have named Tuttle the second stringer to make him happy, but they decided against that. Tuttle told the Salt Lake Tribune that it was weird signaling plays to Huntley and Shelley, but added he was taking things day by day. 
Utah may have accelerated Tuttle's departure by not playing him at all in a 42-10 win over Arizona, with Shelly getting to play all three offensive possessions in the fourth quarter. Utah had intended to redshirt Tuttle as a five-year plan, but could have played him in four games and the coaching staff never once played him. Tuttle decided to enter his name in the transfer portal in October of 2018 due to needing to withdraw from classes at the university by a certain date. Tuttle decided to transfer from Utah was surprising for Tuttle's former high school coach who said, It's just kind of a bummer. The kid was so excited about Utah. He didn't take any other visits. That's just the nature of the business, I guess. The same weekend Tuttle decided to transfer, Utah was hosting the number two dual threat quarterback in the class of 2019, Jaden Daniels. Tuttle was supposed to be the next great Utah NFL quarterback, joined the ranks of 1986 signee Scott Mitchell and 2002 recruit Alex Smith. Tuttle would not record any stats at Utah. After deciding to leave Utah, Tuttle committed to Indiana. Had Tuttle committed to Indiana during high school, he would have been the highest rated quarterback prospect to commit to the Hoosiers in school history. So, if you're keeping track at home, Tuttle went from Southern California to Utah and now Indiana? Well, the Indiana choice actually made sense since according to the Indy Star, Tuttle was born in Indianapolis and his father Jay was a walk-on kicker at Indiana from 1986 to 1989. His mother also went to school in Indiana going to Indiana State. Tuttle was not going to automatically win the starting job in 2019. He needed to compete against returning starter Peyton Ramsey and fellow redshirt freshman Michael Penix. Before Tuttle learned he would be immediately eligible, he took advantage of every opportunity he had. With Penix out with an ACL injury, Tuttle was able to take second team reps and some first team reps as well. The quarterback battle was intense, but Tuttle was once again named the third string quarterback behind Ramsey and Penix, who split time in 2019. During the 2019 season, Jack Tuttle played in five games. He went six for 11 for 34 yards and zero touchdowns. In 2019, he also rushed nine times for 20 yards. Going into 2020, Ramsey decided to transfer to Northwestern and Penix was the starter. Penix was having a great season, and it did not seem like we would see Tuttle this season. That was until Penix tore his ACL in a win over Maryland last week. In relief, Tuttle went 5-for-5 five five for 31 yards. Overall, in Tuttle's career in two seasons of play, he has completed 11 of 16 passes for 65 yards, but still has not thrown a touchdown. His passer rating is 102.9. Tuttle will make his first start on Saturday in one of Indiana's biggest games of the season against number 16 Wisconsin, who actually recruited Tuttle at a high school. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to both my channel and Scott's channel. And remember to embrace the grind.